Good afternoon and welcome everybody to this first coffee lecture in 2023, organized and presented by ETH Library. We are celebrating our 10th coffee lecture series, so you can find a little piece of cake on our front slide. Our topic today is open access and what new funding options you have since the beginning of this year. In the upcoming 10 minutes, I will give you some insights to this and you will learn how to apply for open access funding in general. After a brief overview of open access funding, we are going to have a closer look at the details for our newly agreed institutional funding options. Of course, there is still APC funding outside of these so-called transformative agreements. But this only refers to gold open access, and I will show you how to apply for it as well. After the presentation, there should be enough time for asking questions. Generally spoken, there are two main routes for open access funding, the gold and the hybrid route. Our agreements include gold and hybrid journals, but please note, there are some agreements that only include hybrid journals and some only gold. Partially, hybrid journals are completely included and for gold journals only applies a discounted APC. If you follow the link on the right hand side to our documentation website, you will find comprehensive information about each agreement to avoid confusion, hopefully. So what are these agreements for? The biggest advantage is reducing administrative work for both sides, the researchers and the libraries. For this purpose, workflows are set up for each agreement. To ensure that they work properly, I can highly recommend to always submit your paper with your ETH email address. While submitting or after acceptance, you must sign a Creative Commons license if you decide to publish open access, what I would highly recommend. Please keep in mind that only corresponding authors are generally eligible for funding. With these six publish publishers, our new agreements in place since the beginning of this year. In total, the library has uh, 35 agreements. You will find them all listed on our documentation website. But now let's dive deeper into the details for each publisher. At the beginning, I would, I would like to say that all slides concerning our new agreements follow the same structure with these five items on the left written in blue. To avoid too much repetition, I will pick up the most relevant ones per publisher. In 2023, there are 138 ACS articles allocated to the Swiss National Agreement, which must have been accepted in 2023. First come, first served. After reaching this quota, authors will be charged directly. If you have submitted for a gold journal, funding can be probably be provided by the ETH library. It depends on whether our funding criteria are met or not. If your publication is funded by SNSF, it is excluded from this quota. It might be important for you to know that if you submit for a hybrid journal, SNSF will not cover the costs. For completing the publishing process, you must switch to a platform called RightsLink or CCC, means Copyright Clearance Center. Let's jump to the next one. Canadian Science Publishing. The agreement with CSP includes 19 hybrid journals and for the gold journals applies a 15% discount on each APC. As with ACS, the acceptance date of your publication is relevant for funding. Also, it's already February. We cannot provide you with complete information about all items. For this case, please check our documentation website before submitting so that no unexpected surprises will arise. You can publish in all seven microbiology society hybrid journals with no fee. Acceptance date in 2023 is relevant for funding again. From the publisher side, you will be recognized as eligible for funding by the ETH mail domain. After you have submitted an article, you can choose the open access route and sign a Creative Commons license. This happens as with ACS on the same platform, the Copyright Clearance Center, aka RightsLink. Through the agreement with Oxford University Press, there are 
360 hybrid journals included and for gold journals, we get a 10% discount on the APC. It's a bit awkward, but OUP prompts you to create an additional account on Cypress to complete the publishing process. Cypress is similar to the rights link mentioned before, and it deals with copyright issues related to your publication. Without completing the process on Cyprus, it's likely to receive an unexpected APC invoice. When this happens, please don't pay, but forward the invoice to us because OUP does not reimburse already paid invoices. To be honest, at the time being, we still have some problems with the OUP workflow. If anything goes wrong with your submission at OUP, please contact us. With Portland Press, you can publish unlimited in seven hybrid journals, given that the acceptance date is in 2023. As with other publishers, please check our documentation website before submitting for updated specifications regarding exceptions and articles. Spring on Nature is divided into two sections. We have A, the uh, Nature Journals, and B, the Springer Journals. For nature journals, there is a national conting, contingent that is, seven, that is 75, 72 articles in 2023 are covered for APC-free publishing. A few nature journals are excluded from this deal, namely Nature Reviews, Nature Protocols, Scientific American, and the Gold Journals. The assignment of your publication to the Swiss National Agreement is made by mail and IP domain recognition. Be aware that for all Nature and Springer journals, the approval date is relevant for funding. This is the date we from the library approve the APC request sent by Springer after your publication has been accepted. With Springer Compact, the national agreement, APC for articles in hybrid journals are covered. Due to a specific agreement between ETH Library and Springer, you can also publish in gold journals of the Biomedical Central and Springer Open Collection without paying any APC. We recommend checking the journal title list de deposited on our document documentation website before submitting. For a few journals, the workflow differs from the standardized setup procedure. And now let's put the focus on funding outside the agreements. If your desired journal is not part of an agreement, but it's a gold journal, you can apply for APC funding via our application form. You can see a screenshot um, of it on the right-hand side. The Directory of Open Access Journals, shortly speaking DOIJ, indexes gold journals and can help you to figure out whether your journal is a gold or a hybrid one. Hybrid journals are never indexed in DOIJ. It is once again important to point out that only corresponding authors are eligible for funding. This is in a general rule at ETH Library. For gold or APC outside the agreements, there is a price cap at 5,000 US dollars. VAT, VATs are excluded. If an APC is higher, ETH Library cannot fund it. You will find all funding criteria on our documentation website. So to round off this coffee lecture, I would like to conclude first, workflows might be similar, but mind the differences. Second, submit with your ETH email address and you will be safe. Third, use affiliation information as recommended by our corporate communications. And last but not least, check the eligibility criteria before submitting. For comprehensive information about open access and funding, just visit our documentation website and send us an email whenever you feel the need to clarify issues about open access. Before you can ask questions right away, I would like to draw your attention to our next coffee lecture focusing on the new ordering system for Swiss Covery. The lecture will take place in a week on next Tuesday, same time, same Zoom link. Thank you for your attention and good luck with publishing.